is 2021, so uh, first yoga fit of the year. We are going to start because we've had, this is our first class back, we're going to start off gently and build up a little bit of heat before we come back down to a gentle finish. Um, so we're going to start with um, either a rolled up towel or your blocks if you've got blocks. And we're just going to lay down on these blocks uh, with this <clears throat> center one just between your shoulder blades. So come on down if you don't have blocks you can roll up a towel or something like that or put a cushion under your head or whatever works for you so we're going to lower ourselves down so that this block is just touching the base of your scapulas the bottom of your shoulder blades this other block at the top here is just resting your head on and you're going to bring your soles of your feet together in a little butterfly stretch if you don't really find that comfortable or you're not able to relax in that position then you can just come up onto the soles of your feet so whatever is more comfortable for you just taking those arms out to the side with your palms facing up towards the ceiling we're going to start to focus in on the breath so closing your eyes taking a deep inhale through the nose and exhaling out through the mouth. Again, deep breath in. Try not to overthink how long that breath lasts. Just go as deep as you can comfortably and then exhale out. Feeling the front of the chest, the shoulders, the biceps start to lengthen gently. Focus on relaxing your legs, relaxing all the muscles through the inner thigh, around the hips. Wiggle those toes free of any tension. letting go of all the muscles in your face, just relaxing your brow, releasing your tongue from the roof of your mouth, relaxing the jawbone, let go of all that tension. Slowly bringing your mind back to your breath. Bringing the soles of your feet to press into your mat. Let the knees press in towards each other as you just take your feet out a little bit wider. Relaxing the legs. Relaxing all the muscles up through the hips in the lower back. Letting go of that chest area so your arms can come down even lower to the ground. And you're lengthening all those muscles in there. Slowly just letting go with each exhale. Try to relax in and around the shoulders and the neck making sure that jaw is relaxed and open. Take a deep breath in and as you do, raise the arms up towards the ceiling, fingertips reaching up, lots of length in those arms, Pull the shoulders back into the block or the towel. 
but reach as much as you can with the arms and the fingers, really activating all the muscles in the, in the hands and the wrists. Start to just roll those wrists round in a big circle. Fingers come in to meet each other and then sweep around in the biggest circle you can make your wrists do. Really warming up in that joint. We're gonna go the other way so the fingers are fanning out and you're circling in towards each other. Really lengthening and reaching with the arms as you do this. You're activating all those muscles through the forearm, up into the upper arm. And then again, switch directions, big exaggerated circles. Those wrists and hands should start to feel warm. You can feel that blood flow being pumped up. And other way, sweep it out. Bring those arms back out in that T with your palms facing up towards the ceiling and just let go. Feel the warmth flooding into the hands. All those muscles relaxed and warm. Letting go of the chest and the shoulders. Let go of that frown. That face should be nice and soft and relaxed. Opening the jaw in a relaxed way. The tongue is just hovering in the mouth. Deep breath in. We're going to reach those arms up above you or ahead of you, I should say. And this time you're reaching those fingertips as far as you can towards the back of the room. You're pulling your shoulder blades down and anchoring them into the rib cage. Reaching with the arms and the fingers, anchoring with the shoulders. All of these movements are exactly what we're doing in down dog, in mountain, pulling the shoulder girdle down. Reach, reach, reach with those arms. Deep inhale and as you exhale, bring them back out in that T position, palms facing up. We're gonna just bring the palms now to face into the floor. So just gently turning the hands over Thumbs up, pointing down towards the feet, pinkies towards the back of the room. Press down into the palms of the hands and feel those shoulders <clears throat> activate. Push, 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 and then release and reach those fingers out to the side walls. Again, push down into the floor Activate those muscles across the front of the shoulders, the biceps, the chest muscles. Push, push down, push. Keep pushing, keep pushing. And release. As you release, you're reaching out to the sides. Remember to keep that jaw relaxed. The facial muscles brown lines all oh, just relax let go of that stress that tension let it all go with the breath inhaling through the nose gently letting go of the breath and the stress and tension all together
take a deep breath in, slowly start to let your arms rise up, bring them into prayer and fold them down into your breastbone. Bring your elbows now down either side of your body, push into the elbows and pull your head up to tuck your chin into your chest. Continue to push to the elbows and come all the way up to a seated position. Lifting the heart, pulling the shoulders down and back. Just tilt your pelvis slightly under, so tuck that tailbone so it's pointing down to the ground. You can feel your abdominal muscles are activating here. You're lifting tall and those shoulders are nice and open. Your shoulder blades are pulled down into the midline. Fingers spread wide. Rotate that inner elbow to face forward. Lift the chin to the ceiling. And pull the chin back into the chest. Lift the chin to the ceiling, keep pressing into the hands, lifting that heart, that tailbone is tucked, tuck to the chest. One more time, lifting the chin, opening up that cervical spine, pulling your back muscles in towards the midline. Tucking that chin, lengthening in the neck, lift through the top of the head. One last deep breath in. And as you exhale, come forward into a seated position, crossing the legs in front of you. If you prefer to sit on a block in this position, then pop a block or a blanket or a pillow underneath you. It will just take, if you're very, very tight in this outer hip area, that uh, levity will take the tension out. So you choose, you need to be able to be comfortable enough to breathe and relax. So if you find that you're fighting to stay up or you have tension, then just pop a little um, blanket or block underneath your bum. Okay. Grabbing hold of your thigh, your right thigh, you're gonna lift and twist it internally. And then you're gonna do the same on the left. Twist them internally. So now your sit bones are nice and square on the mat. You can sit nice and tall. Deep inhale, raise those arms up. Pulling the shoulder blades down and back. Try to get your arms back past your ears. So you're really trying to stay in that nice open position that we created when we were laying down. Bring those arms out in a T. Continue to squeeze your shoulder blades back into each other. Your arms should come quite far back as you do that. You're lifting the heart, activating through the lower belly, to hold those tummy muscles tight. Inhale, try to keep those arms as far back as you can and raise them back up, reach. The palms are gonna face forward. Not, they're not facing each other like they normally would here. So we're facing those palms forward. We're lifting and reaching with the fingertips, but we're pulling the shoulder girdle down. Bring those elbows down into cactus this time. Elbows squeezing back as far as you can. Holding here, breathing all the time. Exhale, reach those arms out in a T. Keep squeezing the back. Keep squeezing those shoulder blades together. And now we're going to pull the elbows into the ribs in like an L shape. Squeezing back, lifting the heart. Come back out in a T, squeeze back, squeeze back, squeeze back through those shoulders. And then we're bringing the arms up. Keep those arms as far back as you can. Palms face forward. 
fingertips reach, shoulder blades pull down and back. One more round here, exhale, bring those arms out in a T, squeeze the shoulder blades. Keep reaching and squeezing. Inhale them back up. Now pull the elbows down to a W. Elbows into the ribs. Squeeze it back. Lift that chin. Lift the heart. Inhale, come up. And one more time. Pull these arms down in the T. Anchor the shoulder blades, reach it out, elbows pull into the rib cage. Inhale, reach back up, palms face forward, anchor those shoulder blades. Your upper back muscles should feel like they've just done a really good workout. Exhale, you're going to bring those arms down and forward, landing the hands. Let the head hang, stretch out through the upper back. Reaching the hands forward. Inhale, come back to seated. We're gonna come over into down dog now. So I'm just gonna take my socks off. And we're gonna come over, meet me in down dog. You can start with bent knees uh, if you want to, because we haven't really warmed the legs up at all yet. So spread your hands as wide as you can. Push into your fingertips, push into your palm, and create that little air pocket in the center of the palm. Push into the uh, base of the thumb, the base of the pinky evenly. Rotate your inner elbow, draw your belly up and under, and activate those forearm muscles, just like we did when we were lying down on the ground and reaching for the sky. Really wake them up, connect with them, because they're gonna help take any pressure off that wrist, your hand and your forearm. They're all working together with that wrist joint. Anchor the shoulders back away from the ears and pull them. Imagine you're lying back on, on the ground and you're pulling those shoulder blades down. Flip the toes and gently lift with those hips. Keep the knees bent here and just walking those feet to hip width distance. Let the head hang and just let go of that chest. Really let it sink in towards your thighs and feel that release through the upper back. Those muscles in the upper back and around the shoulders are nice and warmed up and nice and fired up. So you've activated them, your brain is in connection with them. So this is gonna help you get in that nice deep down dog. You're activating the shoulders just the same as you were when you were laying down. Start to pedal the legs, gently and slowly, encouraging the heel to the ground each time you pedal. Now start to exaggerate your pedal a bit by rocking your hips over in towards that bent leg. As you bend the leg, rock the hip down with it. Let go of the head. Sink the chest. Nice deep exaggerated pedaling. Slow it down even more and bring this stretch even through the rib cage, through into the back of that arm. And then rock over to the other side. Stay there for a few seconds, stretching up through the rib cage. Rock it back. So we're gonna land in down dog again. You can keep your knees bent to, to start here if you prefer, or if you wanna start trying to sink those heels into the earth. And just straightening those legs slowly, 
draw your belly up and under. Let's start to warm up these legs and stretch out these hips now. So we're going to take the left leg up into the air, point the toes, exhale, tap those toes to the mat. Inhale, point the toes up and down to the mat. One more time. Inhale, point the toes up and now completely twist your pelvis out to the side. Let that knee bend and the heel come down towards your opposite buttock. Feel that length through the hip, through the front of the thigh. Start to straighten the leg out, keeping that nice tilt in the pelvis. You're sideways on. And that weight of that leg is gonna stretch through into the hips a little deeper. Again, bend the knee and then land the foot. We're gonna pedal out. Coming down into a child's pose, releasing the hips to heels. Let go of the arms, rest the forehead. Sink the chest. Give the hands a wiggle. Release any tension that may have felt while you were there in that down dog. Slowly inhale to all fours. Spread your hands wide, fingertips pressing into the ground, <clears throat> pressing into the palm, into the base of the thumb <coughs> and the pinky evenly, excuse me. Rotate <clears throat> your inner elbow and draw your navel up towards your spine. Anchoring through the shoulder blades. Flip the toes, push into your down dog, with or without straight legs, you choose here. <clears throat> Let the head hang. Take a deep breath in, raise and point your right foot up towards the ceiling and exhale, touch the toes down to the mat. And again, inhale the toes up. And exhale the toes down. One more time, pull the toes up and start to twist in the pelvis. Open that pelvis out to the side and let the knee bend. Stay centered in that left side, sink the chest. Go ahead, straighten out that right leg and let the weight of that leg stretch you in through the hips. Bending the knee one more time. Exhale, come back into that down dog. Pedal the legs and pedal the hands. Release any tension. Sinking the chest. Deep breath in, raising that left leg. Open out for a hip stretch. Exhale, that knee in towards the chest and step the foot through. Ground the back knee, flip the back foot, inhale the arms up. Tucking that pelvis, sinking the shoulders, all the same right from the beginning of the class. We're anchoring while we were lying down. We're doing the exact same thing. If you can bring your gaze up to we, uh, between your hands, then go ahead. If you prefer just to look ahead and you feel more stable there than stay there. Keeping that pelvis tucked, so when we, I talk about that all the time is tucking the pelvis. I don't mean like really pulling it too far under and creating a flat butt. I just, when I say tuck it, I mean point your tailbone down, straight down towards the ground. So you just literally, it's such a minute movement, probably a minute correction, unless you have got a real over exaggerated tilt. It's a very minor movement. So you don't have to go, oh, I've got to tuck, because then you're too far the other way. 
You want to be somewhere in between. So that tailbone is pointing to the ground. And when you do that and you put your pelvis in that neutral position, the, you feel a length in the front of the hip flexor because we're usually also tight there because we sit a lot, right? So our hip flexors get super tight. So when we tuck the pelvis into the neutral position, you will feel a little bit of tightness through the front of the hip there, more than likely. Okay, taking a deep breath in, raise. Exhale, you're gonna bring your right hand down, line your fingers and your toes up, lift that left arm, stacking your shoulders. Again, it's all about opening and pulling those shoulders back. Again, you can gaze to the side or up. I'm gonna lock this or rock this hand all the way down to rest on the lower back. Or you can wrap your fingers around your rib cage and really open out through the front of the chest through the front of the shoulder. Now, how far back your arm is, you wanna to try to keep it that far back as you raise your arm to reach for the ceiling. Exhale, bring this left hand down now and just tuck it inside the left foot. <clears throat> Line the fingers and the toes up. And we're gonna rock up onto that back leg and sink down into the hips. So you're just up onto the back toes, sorry. Rotate your back foot and land in the heel. Inhale now with your right arm raising, reach tall. Open up the shoulders, pull the shoulder blades back in towards your midline. Sink in your hips, just stretching and opening out. You can let this hand come down to rest on the lower back or wrap your fingers around your front thigh. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bring the hands down and step back to a plank. Drop the knees here, rotating the inner elbows, anchoring the shoulders. Bring your chin forward as you lower. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, chaturanga again on the knees. Pull back to plank. Flip the toes, lift the hips, draw your belly up and under. Head it out. Get comfortable. If you feel any tension anywhere, walk it out, shake it out, get rid of it before you move on to your next sequence. Draw your belly up and under. Take a deep breath in, raise the right leg, open out for a hip stretch, exhale, bring that knee to the chest, then step your foot through your hands, ground the back knee, flip the back foot, inhale up, reach tall, hip width in the base, go ahead, tuck your tailbone down towards the floor. Feel that length through the front of the hip, through the outer edge of the hip as you reach taller, pull the shoulders down. Exhale, the left hand is gonna float down. You're lining your fingers and your toes up. Reach the right arm up. Pull your shoulder blades back and down. You can land the hand either just to rest on the lower back or wrap it under your rib cage, palm facing the ground. Looking up. Inhale, 
inhale, come back, reach, and exhale. You're gonna tuck this right hand inside the right foot. Lift in that back leg onto the toes and rock down into a hip stretcher, just relaxing the hips. Rotate the back heel to land on the ground, lining the shoulders one on top of the other, open the left arm up, sink as low as you can in your hips. Landing the hand to rest either on the lower back or grab a hold of your front thigh. Inhale, slowly come back up, bring those hands back down to the mat. Step to a plank, drop the knees, elbows tuck, chin comes forward, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Back to a knee, chaturanga, so keep your knees on the ground, pull back. Send the hips up and back, pedal. Well done, nice, soft hips opening out through those sequences. So we've warmed up a little bit there, just pedaling the legs before you land in your down dog. Let your head hang, sink your chest. Slowly take two or three baby steps in towards your hands so that you are in a really high pipe position. Feet still hip width apart. I want you to rotate your fingers to face the opposite corner of your mat. Now lower your head between your hands and push back up. <clears throat> Lower your head between your hands so your body weight is forward and push. We're going to do three more, so we're doing five all in total. Push back up. Again, elbows out, your, ha your head between the hands. So your body weight is forward. You're lifting your body weight with your shoulders. I think we have one more. I may have miscounted. I do apologize if I did. All right, press it back and now walk back to a full down dog. Rotate the hands to face forward. Pedal out those legs. Go ahead, shake the wrists if you want. Now from here in this position, in this down dog position, you're going to lower your elbows to the ground and press them back up. Elbows to the ground and press back up. Elbows down and press. Hold on to your lower belly. Make sure you stay in your down dog with those heels low. Elbows down and press back up. Two more to go and press. One more. Elbows down and press back up. Come down into a child's pose. Give those arms a little bit of a breather. Rest the forehead into the mat. Slowly push to all fours, rock, the, uh, flip the toes and push the hips back, down dog. Deep breath in, bend the knees, lift the chin and look through your hands. You're going to now tiptoe those feet all the way through to a flat back. You can put your hands on your shins if you feel that that will give you more of a, a nice straight spine. And remember, you're always anchoring those shoulder blades back. You're always trying to center your body weight. So if you just scan your feet here, where is your body weight mostly pressed? Is it to the outside? or the inside. If it's either way, you need to center it. So try to share that weight evenly. 
through your base. From here, we're going to lean forward a little bit more so you can use blocks if you need them. Pushing that tailbone up towards the sky. So you're tilting that pelvis almost the other way and lengthening through those hamstrings. Try to stay relaxed in the toes. You're pressing your weight evenly through your feet. Go ahead, bend the knees. Keep the toes touching, the knees touching. As you inhale, lift the upper body, but let the hips sink. Exhale, toes up, fingers down to the mat or the blocks, straighten the legs, completely straighten those knees, rock the weight evenly in the feet and walk or lean a little further forward, pushing the pelvis up towards the ceiling. Feel that length coming through the back of the body, through those calves, in through the back of the knee. Let the body sink slowly. You can come deeper if you wish. If you have any shaking or quivering, just relax out of it a tiny bit. It's all about being patient and letting your body lengthen that at its own pace. The more patient and soft and gentle you are, the more your muscles will let go. Just letting go of the head now. You can bring the chin from side to side. Heel toe those feet out towards the very edge of your mat, making sure your toes are still lined up. We're going to let the body sink in a little bit deeper, relaxing the head so you're gazing towards the back of your mat. And now make sure these muscles just above the knee, the quad muscles, see if you can let go of them and just let them relax. bringing that body weight a little tiny bit further forward as you push your pelvis up towards the ceiling. You're going to walk your hands over towards the left. You're bringing that stretch around the outer edge through the back of the leg. You're changing slightly where it is, so be gentle and slow. Let your head hang in towards your knee. And we're going to just release and walk all the way to the other side, nice and slow. Bringing that head in towards the knee. Feeling that length coming through more the outer edge of the calf. Walk it back into centre. Push into a flat back, whether that means your hands are on your shins or the ground, wherever you need to be. Remember, you're always anchoring those shoulders, drawing the belly up and under. Bending the hips and lifting the heart. Sink into those heels. Hands in towards the heart. Push up. Keeping those legs where they are so your feet are nice and wide, you're going to step this left leg back. Make sure both feet face forward. Centre your body, tuck your pelvis, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands down to the heart. Drop down into a lunge, push back up through that front heel. Drop into a lunge, push through the front heel. 
drop into a lunge, lifting the heart, relaxing the shoulders, the pelvis is tucked. Two more times. One more, we're going to stay low. And we're going to reach those arms forward as you let your chest and your abdomen rest on that thigh. Look to the ground. Pull your elbows into a W. The palms are still facing the floor. From here, we're going to lift up, palms face forward. Lower down, palms face the ground. Lift up, stay low in that front leg. We're working through the thigh, we're working through the hip, and we're continuing to squeeze the upper back as you do that. So your whole body, whole body is activated here. <sighs> Lift and lower. You have two left. Lift and lower. One more time, we're going to lift and we're going to come back into that lunge sequence. So hands to the heart, lower and press, lower and press, lower and press. Two more. One more time, stay low. Reach the arms, come forward in that fold. Elbows in your W or your cactus, palms face down. Lift the heart, lift the palms, the base doesn't move. Forward and lift, squeeze the upper back muscles in towards each other. And squeeze, you have two left. And then we've got one final lunge sequence. Here we go. Hands into the heart. Lunge down, press up. Down, press up. Down, press up. Lift in the heart, relaxing the shoulders. You have two to go. One more. All right, bring those arms up, float the hands. We're going to step to a plank. Drop to the knees. Chin forward, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Pull it back, plank. Drop the knees, chaturanga. Pull it back, down dog. Pedal. Sink the head, sink the chest. Bend the knees, lift the chin, shuffle those feet all the way through to flat back. To the blocks, the, sh the shins or the mat. Draw the belly up and under. Distribute your body weight evenly through your feet. So through the center of the foot, spread that weight evenly. Bring this body weight forward just a little bit to lengthen through the back of the legs. Push the pelvis up to the ceiling. Exhale, you're going to slowly fold and let go of the head, let go of the shoulders. You can bring your chin side to side, you can nod your head, you can stay still, whatever is better for you. Gently pressing to the fingertips, heel toe your feet out towards the edge of your mat and continue just to let your body, your upper body, relax and hang. Good. 
walking your feet or your hands over to the right side, bringing your head in towards your knee. Gently walking all the way around to the left and bring your head into your knee. Even bases. Try not to roll into the outer edge of your leg or your feet. Walk back to center. Bend the knees, sweep the arms up, reach hands to the heart and press up. This time you're going to step your right leg back behind you, keeping the feet at that nice hip width distance, at that nice wide distance. Both toes face forward. Get comfortable here, get centered. Tilt the pelvis, tailbone points down. Reach. You feel that length through the hip, hands to the heart. Drop down to lunge and push up to a lunge and push up, lifting the heart, relaxing the shoulders to a lunge and push. And push, two more. One more, stay down. Let your chest, your abdomen fold over your leg or your thigh and reach your arms forward. Pull the elbows into cactus, point them down uh, palms facing down to the ground. Deep breath in, the base doesn't move. You're going to lift and squeeze those elbows back. Lower. Lower into that front heel and stay there. Don't let that leg move or lift. You're moving from the hip. Keep squeezing the elbows back. One more time, we're coming back into your lunge sequence, hands to the heart, lower, press, lower and press, lower, press, lower and press. Two more, one more time, stay low, reach up, fold forward, cactus, elbows tucked, squeeze, Lift, fold, flat back, lift, squeeze, fold, lift and squeeze, fold, lift and squeeze, two more, then we'll have our final lunge sequence, one more, Hands to the heart, down and press, down and press, down and press. Pushing through that front heel, two more. Bring those arms up, float them down, step to a plank. Drop your knees, chaturanga chin forward. Inhale up dog, back to plank, drop the knees, chaturanga, plank and down dog. Well done. All right, so just coming down for a quick drink. We're just going to move through a quick ab sequence and then we're done. So <laughs> I bet most of you are wondering who is this person and where's Wendy? because I never do things in classes like this. But you know what, I feel like after this year that we just had and the Christmas season with all that stress, it's just nice to have a little bit of a, you know, let's wake our bodies up again and open everything out and warm everything up and get everything mobile and flowing. So that was my plan. So I'm hoping that's what you're getting from this. We're going to just finish with a little ab sequence because I know you guys would hate to miss on, out on abs. So if you have a block, grab a block or rolled up towel or pillow, whatever. I'll let you improvise. One block. 
lay down. Oh, I could just go to sleep, but we're, I feel so nice and open now. I'm relaxed. But we've got one more thing to do. So let's pull our legs up in this 90 degree bend. We're going to take this block in our right hand and push it against our left thigh. Okay? And as you do that, you're going to bring your left hand behind your head. And we're going to do just like a cross body crunch like this, right knee to left elbow. Have a few practice rounds so your brain knows what it's doing on that side. Okay, your brain is doing this. Now I want you to, the reason I say that is because I want you to think of two things at once. This block on the left thigh, you're going to be pushing the block to try and get your knee to come this way. But you're obviously trying to resist it and push your hand away and push your leg that way. So we're really activating those abdominal muscles in one big group. Then we're also making them do cross body crunches. So it is intense, but you have to concentrate on pushing. Otherwise, you can easily just start just holding the block and not doing anything. So really, you have to focus on activating those muscles in the left leg, in this right arm, pushing, fighting. And then you, as you do that, you're crunching across. So two, three, four, five. Keep pushing against that thigh, pushing that thigh in towards your shoulder. So really fighting that opposing energy. Push, push. Keep going. Try to hold the weight of your head in that left hand. The neck is not working. Keep pushing across. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come down, just take a rest. Feel that heat in the body. Deep breath in. Let it go. Grabbing that block, taking it to the opposite thigh. So on your right thigh this time, your left hand is pushing against it. Come on up in that bend in the knee and away you go. Keep pushing the thigh into the block and pushing the block into the thigh. Your chin stays off the chest. It's harder than it looks. You really have to concentrate. Push, 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 push all the time. So you're really activating those abs. It's really super intense when you do it right. Keep pushing. Keep pushing, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, keep pushing, activate that opposite side, 4, 3, 2, and 1, all right, come down, releasing, everything relaxes, breathe, nice deep breaths, so those little ab exercises at the end, just one of the ones that I've come up with over my little Christmas break, but we will be doing more of them in future classes. I just wanted to introduce a concept in this class. So you can have a little think and it's not going to be such a surprise when we're in the middle of a really tough workout next time and I throw those in. Bring your arms back in that T. Feet are in butterfly stretch, or you can have your knees touching. It's up to you, whatever feels better. Bringing those feet up onto the mat. Knees can touch here and you're just going to rock from side to side. Letting go of the lower back. Letting the pelvis, everything is relaxed here in the hips. You're just rocking from side to side. Bringing those knees over and bring them the other way. All right, come back into center. Take those legs out flat on your mat. 
arms alongside the body with your palms facing the ceiling and just take a moment to roll your shoulders down and away. Let the knees and the feet relax and open out. Keep your palms facing up towards the ceiling and start to just focus in on your breath. Nice deep inhales. And exhales. Rocking your chin from side to side. Feeling that length in the back of the neck. Feeling the flexibility that you may have created through the sides of the neck here in this practice today. back into center and gently pull your heels in towards your sit bones, pull your knees in towards your chest and hug as you rock from side to side. Slowly rocking backwards and forwards now you can roll up into a seated position on your mat just take a hold of your thighs and internally rotate them or sit up on your towel or your cushion. Palms face the ceiling, resting the wrists on the knees. Nice deep breaths as you let your left ear fold down in towards your left shoulder. Pull that right shoulder down to anchor and feel those muscles lengthening slowly but comfortably. Gently bring your face to look up to the sky. Come back to centre. Lifting the head slowly and then letting it fall all the way the other side, ear to the right shoulder. Gently pulling down that left shoulder and anchoring. Inhale, look face up towards the ceiling. In your own time, coming back to center, bringing your head back upright on top of your spine. Tilting that tailbone to point to the ground, sitting nice and tall. Take a deep breath in, reach up tall. Exhale, bring your hands back into prayer and give yourselves a clap. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that different class and I'll see you back for the usual later in the week. Bye.